All right, guys, doing something a little bit different today. I'm not going to talk about baits or reels or anything like that. I'm going to talk about fishing as a co-angler. And I'm not a co-angler now. I, I love being a boater, but I spend a lot of time in the back of the boat. From the club level to the federation level to the BFL level, uh, the Costa, the Bass Opens, and even FLW Series. So I fished a lot of different levels. And, you know, the same advice that I'm going to give you here applies to all of those. And the one thing that really helped me, and, you know, I did have some su success as a co-angler. You know, I didn't you know, win a bunch of tournaments or things like that. But, you know, I was BFL Angler of the Year twice. Uh, I made it to the BFL All-American. Um, you know, made the state team. A lot of different things that I did as a non-boater. And the, the key to my success, I believe, was downsizing my tackle and not bringing everything that I owned. You know, there was a point where I was kind of struggling, you know, getting checks when I first moved to Florida. And my wife, Tanya, said, you know, you really need to just bring less tackle. And I didn't really think much of it, but that is a huge thing. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a kind of a visual. You know, this is the tackle box that I used to bring, or a tackle bag. You can see it's giant. It's a big, huge backpack. And then inside of it, I actually have a, an old tackle bag stored in it that is, you know, fits perfectly in there with room. But I downsized it to something much smaller like this. And that bag included everything. Scales, sunscreen, everything. I mean, it's, it's, def it's just eliminating tackle is going to you know, make you more focused. And it doesn't even matter what you put in there, it's just putting in there things that you're confident in. You know, now that I'm a boater, I see some co-anglers bring two or three bags of, of stuff and they never even get into that stuff. You know, they have 50 crankbaits, you know, from every different brand and size and color, you know, then they don't even use a crankbait. You know, maybe you just pick two or three crankbaits of each depth range that you really have confidence in and bring those. You don't need to bring that much tackle. I mean, that is a huge distraction, and it's just a, a security blanket. And I'll tell you, once I switched to this smaller tackle bag, you know, this was the BFL series, and I think I had eight checks in a row or nine checks in a row. And, you know, that's pretty consistent. And if, if you fish as a co-angler, you know you're never sure who you're going to go with. You might fish with somebody who's really on fish, or you might fish with some guy who you're saying, how is this guy a boater? You know, what's going on? You know, so that consistency... You know, it's not so much my skill, I think it was just my focus. And, you know, in that, that streak, I used the same bait 95% of the time. And, again, it doesn't even matter what it is. It's just something that I had confidence in, and I just fished that all day long. And, you know, one other key and tip that I'll give you is to think about competing against the other co-anglers. You're not trying to beat your boater. I mean, sure, that's cool to catch more fish than your boater, but they're in a different level. I mean, not necessarily level like... You know, they're better than you, but they're fishing against other boaters. So you don't have to try to beat your boater. Again, it's nice, but you just need to beat those other co-anglers. So if uh, it's going to take 20 pounds to win as a pro or a boater, you know, realistically, if you can catch 14, 15 pounds, you're going to be looking really good as a co-angler. So you just kind of have to downscale your expectations, not try to outcast your boater and try to cast ahead of them or try to you know outperform them you're fishing for different fish you know they're looking to win where it's going to take a higher weight you know you catch a bunch of two and three pounders you know most parts of the country you're going to get a check as a non-boater and that, that's something you just have to kind of refocus on what you're actually fishing for and you know fishing is a, a co-angler you know one final note that i'll give you it's all about learning i mean if i look back and you know some of the guys that i drew you know from you know, BFL levels on up, you know, a lot of them are on the Elite Series now. And at the time, they weren't. You know, I fished with um, Bobby Lane, Brett Height, Brett Ayler, John Murray. You know, all these guys I actually got to fish with because I was a co-angler. So I highly recommend fishing as a co-angler because you might fish with somebody who's going to teach you so much. And, you know, someone that you couldn't even pay to take you out. You know, they're just on that level. And it's, it's a great experience to learn. You know, that's the biggest thing to keep in mind is you're, you're there to learn. You know, obviously you want to do well, and I think the biggest thing is just downsizing your tackle, using what you're confident in, and more, more importantly, just fishing for your own fish. You know, not trying to cast exactly where that boater went, and, you know, thinking of things that they missed, obviously, but, you know, also casting out the other side of the boat. You know, making longer casts to, to things that they're not targeting. You know, if they're pitching shallow brush, you know, maybe there's something else around there that you can cast to that's untouched. So, you know, those are some keys that I'll give, or some tips that I've, I've learned through fishing as a co-angler and also things that I've seen as a boater where my co-angler could have maybe adjusted their, their approach. So definitely uh, co-angling is a great opportunity. You know, I highly recommend it. You know, it definitely helped me learn more about fishing. And, you know, if you have any other questions, you know, let me know in the comments below.